get started because we're already late. <laughs> um, welcome to DevPulseCon. Um, this is Code Chicks' second hypertechnical conference. We had our first one last year in October called Coder XX. Uh, we got notified on Twitter that Coder XX was um, a little bit insulting to some of the LGBT uh, people, and so we definitely didn't want that to happen, so we changed our name to DevPulseCon to be you know, welcoming of everyone as we always are. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm Rupa Dasher. I'm the founder of Code Chicks and the executive director. Um, I know it's the weekend, and I know this is the time when everybody's doing chores and catching up on sleep and you know, taking care of kids and all that, so uh, thank you so much for coming and spending your precious weekend time with us. We really, really appreciate your hard work and your dedication. Um, today we have almost 110 women engineers coming in for this conference. And they're coming from all over the world. They're coming from India, from Canada, from the UK. Um, so it's, uh, it's, it's an international crowd here. So anyway, welcome. Um, I'm going to do uh, a little introduction of Code Shakes and Doug Paul's Con. And then after that, I'm going to hand it off to Karen, who is our site director at Wisconsin. And then she will hand it off to, uh, we have a PhD candidate from University of California, Davis, in sociology, who's doing a really, really interesting research on women engineers in industry. So she's going to talk a little bit about that. She wants to do a survey and get some data. So she's going to talk a little bit about that so we can take a survey today. First off, thank you so much to our sponsors. Um, VMware is a platinum sponsor this year for us. Uh, also, Intel. <laughs> <laughs> Intel, Walmart Labs, and ThoughtWorks have all uh, stepped forward to, to sponsor this conference as gold sponsors. So thank you so much to all of these companies for showing their support uh, of Code Chicks and of PulseCon. Also, we have our partners, uh, O'Reilly, IEEE, and uh, Women in Privacy and Security, which is a very small, very new nonprofit that started in the North Bay uh, by uh, some people from uh, Visa and from um, uh, the Sands Inst Institute for Security uh, that we're working with. And uh, something I haven't been able to put on this slide yet, but I'm, I'm hoping to very shortly, is we are working on a partnership with the Linux Foundation which is a very, very technical um, uh, entity. So we're, we're hoping to have a partnership signed very, very soon with them. So a little bit about DevPulseCon. This is the only technical, technically focused conference in the world for, by women engineers, for women engineers, and geeks, and you know, people like us, right? Um, so essentially, it is for everybody to come and brush up on their skills, learn about new technology, and share whatever you know with someone else. This was essentially conceived, directed, and developed by Code Chicks Bay Area. And a little bit about Code Chicks, we're focused, we're a nonprofit in California. We're focused on education mentorship and advocacy of women engineers in the industry, sometimes in academia. So we have a few students from universities that do attend, but it's primarily focused for women engineers in industry that are practicing. They need to keep up their skills, and that's our target audience. And we're pretty much the only ones that do this. So what does it all mean? So I want you to take a few minutes and just look around this room and see how many people there are. You take a line through the center, half of you are going to be gone in two years. That's the dropout rate. Currently, actually, currently it's higher than, so two years ago it was about 56%. Right now it's closer to 60%. Why do you say half are going to drop out in two years? Do you have any statistics Actually, if you go to the Anita Borg Institute website, there's like, I don't know, like 10 links on studies done by various universities over the last 10 years or so that have tracked this. And it's not just computer science or EE, it's across engineering, including mechanical, aerospace, chemical, all of that. So it's, it's widespread, it's, yeah. So yeah, feel free to look at Anita Borg Institute's <laughs> research. Also, NCWIT is a, good, is a good place to go look at, uh, look at data. Of course, you're assuming we're representative. Half of us might not. 
That is true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> um, so, so Code Chicks is trying to, to address this problem and trying to keep women engineers on the technical ladder in the industry and trying whatever we can. There are two main focus uh, areas that are issues. The first one is obviously technical, you know, keeping up with the pace of technology in our industry is really, really difficult, especially if you're, you know, have a family and you have, you know, other obligations and you have a hideous commute, you know, so with all of this it's really hard to keep up with all the technology. The other aspect is cultural and the cultural environment at companies, uh, management practices, maybe policies that, are, that exist that kind of are not really very good and might push women out, maybe. Um, so Code Chick specifically focuses on the technical side of things. We sometimes do a little bit on the cultural side, but primarily the focus is technical. Um, and we do that through our tech talks, our hands-on workshops, which you'll be going to in the afternoon. Uh, we also do hacking sessions to work on uh, private projects. Um, and we've started doing conferences like this. Um, and then uh, we also do uh, technical public speaking at selected conferences uh, that are known to be very technical. So here are a list that, that we've spoken at uh, before. Somebody's calling me. Okay. Well. So here are some of the current projects that we're, uh, we're working on. So I'm thinking maybe we'll try to see if we can do another small Dev Pulse Con in the fall uh, with a slightly different focus. I'm still working on that, thinking through it. Uh, depends on if I get sponsorship and funding, <laughs> which is always really, really hard. Um, also, we have three um, open source projects ongoing right now with the University of California at Berkeley specifically the, the electrical engineering and computer science department. It's being run by a former colleague of a bunch of us called Shankari, who used to work at VMware, and she went back to do her PhD, and so uh, she has all these cool projects, and she, she's working with some, some of the Kojix members on that. Um, also, we have this uh, project called Project Juggler, which is a problem that I have with announcing uh, uh, things that we do on all our social media channels. It's a real pain to do it, and I don't want to pay anybody, so I want something free that works well, and that doesn't exist, so we're gonna build it. So <laughs> that's what Project Juggler is, so we're gonna, uh, there's like three or four of us that get together on hacking sessions to build that, so, and then we're gonna open source it so anybody else can use it as well. And the last one is still, uh, is very nascent, and I can't talk too much about it, but it's a security-related project that's, that we're just kicking off as a separate track. Um, and Michelle Ho and uh, Li Jie are, I don't know if they're here, but uh, they're leading that. Here are some of the upcoming events. Uh, we have uh, some technical talks that we're lining up. Uh, on Swagger, you'll hear a talk from Ivan today on Swagger. Um, and he, we, we're probably going to repeat that with a hands-on workshop following it, so you can really learn uh, the basics. Um, application security and um, CoreOS and Tectonic, um, which are really hot technologies right now. So we're going to do um, basic uh, tech talks followed by hands-on workshops, so you can get a you know a quick review and then go deep deep dive into it in a hands-on workshop. Uh, for all of these areas. And we're also going to do an intro to Go programming. Um, probably going to use uh, Ann Holler's class from last, in last uh, conference, which was excellent. Um, and we're going to use, and it's open source, so anybody can use it to teach it. So we're probably going to do that. So Code Chicks is completely volunteer run. Nobody gets paid to do anything. So we wouldn't be here without our volunteers. They are our lifeblood. So I just wanted to uh, take a few moments, more, th more than a few moments, um, and give out some awards to our key volunteers, who I think some of them are here, some of them are not here. But I will, I will read out their names. The first one is Whitney Brand Hyatt, <laughs> who's right here. <laughs> Whitney, Whitney does all of our graphic design for the last, I don't know, five years. <laughs> She's awesome. Um, Cheyenne, I don't know if Cheyenne is here. She'll be here about lunchtime. Oh, lunchtime. Cheyenne's coming at lunchtime. Okay. 
Samina. Samina is here. Oh, cool. <laughs> Thank you. Samina, Samina is, is awesome. Samina, last time she came to Kodorex Sex, um, the comment she made was like, uh, Rupa, I have six kids, but you know what? I sent them all to the theme park, and I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> and her husband's like taking care of them. I'm like, wow. <laughs> um, Sushma, I know she's not here. She's coming. Breakfast. Oh, she's getting breakfast. Okay. Uh, Ramya, she's not here. Yeah. Pat Richards, yeah. I know she's here. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> awesome. Michelle is not here today. Uh, Michael is taking photographs in the back, so I will, I will put it over here. <laughs> Karen, who is our site director for Wisconsin, and she's going to be speaking. Madhuri, Madhuri's in the back. <laughs> Madhuri is like the most, the foremost open source person I know. Um, Liz Hurley, who actually lives in Santa Barbara, but she has a really cool project on our open source repo that you should check out. It's, it's called MapViz. Julie Nelson, who's our videographer, volunteer videographer. <laughs> Gloria, who is in the back over there. <laughs> I'll, I'll put yours here. <laughs> Deepa Kakar, is she here? She's coming, but all right. Deepa Karnadurka. She's not here because her in-laws are flying in from India, so she has to go pick them up. Uh, Brenda Ono is right here. Yeah. <laughs> Blythe. <Hi>. Stop, Blythe. <laughs> oh my God. Blythe is the assistant site director for Code Chicks Bay Area, and without her, nothing would work. Okay, so oh. yeah, <laughs> essentially. Ann Holler, who is like excellent. I'm going to put yours here. <laughs> Anusha, I think she's driving. Yeah, she's driving. Yeah, yeah, she'll be here. But she's she's doing the she's leading the Docker workshop in the afternoon. So um, this is hers. Anisea. And last but not least, I wanted to mention this separately because this person did one of our best and highest ranking workshops on Git. He did a three part series. This is like a couple of years ago. And it was like sold out. Every single one was sold out. And he worked so hard and everybody had like rave reviews about it. So I want to specifically men mention Kevin, who's here today. <laughs> Kevin works at GitHub. So these two are for you. I'm going to put them here. I'll give them to you later. So those are our volunteers. Without him, none of this would happen. Um, so with that, um, we're looking for funding <laughs> for our next conference, for sustaining membership from companies to keep our tech talks and our workshops going. Uh, we tend to charge very, very little for our workshops for what you get, uh, and we need to have a venue and pay for food and all that, so we would really appreciate if you could go back to your companies and say, hey, you know, can you sustain coaches going forward? Also, we're looking for volunteers, uh, speakers, instructors, teachers, um, you know, people to talk about us, what we do, any kind of fundraising, you know, please uh, let me know or let Blythe know and we'd be happy to ramp you up on stuff to, to do and help us. And then a reminder for today, and this is really, really important, please, 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 please do not recruit other than the MWR table over there. <laughs> <laughs> There's a platinum sponsor, they get a table to recruit. <laughs> but please, this is not a recruiting conference. This is a conference for you to learn about technology, to learn about what e each of you is working on. Try to go talk to somebody who's not in your company. Okay, go talk, talk to somebody you don't know and learn what they do and get to network at that level, at the technical level. Because at the end of the day, that's what's going to get you your next job. And that's what you need to network for. 
So yeah, essentially what I just said. Um, and then so one thing I, I spoke last time about is a lot of times people don't really focus on getting something positive from someone else to share with someone else. And that's a really important networking skill to have. When you meet someone new, take at least one thing positive from them that you can share with someone else. And, you know, and they will do the same. And that's a very critical skill to have when you're networking. And if it's technical, it's even better. So yeah, stay focused, have a blast, you know, enjoy every minute. There's plenty of food and drink. There's be lots of vegetarian food and lots of non-vegetarian food coming. Um, lots of drinks. If you need anything, please let us know. We'll be happy to go get it for you. Uh, we also have like gluten-free vegan options coming. So for all of those who are in that category, we have special food for you. Um, and last but not the least, may the code be with you. <laughs> and unleash the engineer within you. That's our slogan for our, our conferences. So, you know, focus on the technical, focus on learning something uh, that you don't know, something new, so you can, you, you can target your future. And with that, I'm going to uh, introduce you to Karen. Karen is our awesome site director from Wisconsin. She flew in specifically for this conference. Um, and she's going to talk about uh, all the things that she's done for her, for her chapter over the last couple of years, which is a tremendous repertoire of things that she's done. She's worked with the University of Wisconsin at Madison, gotten professors there to come and talk. Uh, she's just awesome. Um, after Karen, um, Robin is going to be talking about her um, PhD uh, research work, uh, just for a few minutes to talk about what she's doing and the survey that she's going to ask us to take so she has enough data for her research. And with that, I'm going to bring up Karen's uh, slides, if this doesn't die. Hello. OK. There we go. All right. Is that good? Well, yes, we're just saying this. <laughs> great, great. This you can either stick in your pocket or just hold it. Thank you. <coughs> Thanks, Rick. Okay, I'm Karen Raymeyer. I live in Madison, Wisconsin. For the last 18 years, I have been a software engineer. And uh, about two or three years ago, my job started getting bad, and I started going, what do I do next, and how do I stay technically current? So I started looking around, and I found Code Chicks, and I said, I need that. We don't have one. I'll make one. So we did. I called Rupa, and we got working together. And so for the last slightly more than two years, we have had uh, lots of events. Uh, you may not know where Madison, Wisconsin is. We, are, we have a big lake. We are the capital of Wisconsin. Um, we're in San Francisco. I live closer to Chicago. There's some lakes in the middle. That's where we go. <laughs> there's Madison. There's Chicago. We're three hours north of Chicago. We have even more lakes. We have uh, um, a couple of little highways and a, an isthmus. That's the thing between the lakes. Um, this is, uh, we're small compared to you. I understand you have about as many IT workers as we have people. <laughs> um, the average household income is almost 50,000. The average house is about 200,000. Average rent is about 900,000. My mortgage is 800,000. It's 2,500 square feet. I have a mile and a half commute. Wow. It's a pretty different life. <laughs> <laughs> We do have jobs. Um, I am not a recruiter. I work for the state of Wisconsin. I don't work for private industry. Um, this says Chicago is two hours away. Most of what we have is government or hospitals or insurance. We have a little bit of tech stuff. We have a Google office. We have a ShopBop, Amazon office. We have some games offices. But we don't have, or at least I haven't found the almost 20 years, anything like what you have. 
Um, we want, we think we are um, the tech spot between the coasts and there's Chicago. Um, that's where I live. <laughs> So we've had a lot of events. We started uh, July 2014 was our first event. We paired with um, Madison Ruby Conference. Uh, so we paired with their Rails Bridge and then we had a talk after. So um, they gave us a speaker the first couple of years. Then we had some, we had a lot of good talks. Here's some more good talks. You can find this on our website. You can see most of our photos, most of our videos. We have, we have um, uh, put up on YouTube most of the stuff that we've had. And here's my last slide. We've had, 15 events, we've reached almost 200 people, and going from the top to the bottom, that's what we did. Um, we, are, we are pairing with, we have uh, tech colleges, uh, whose job is, um, they're, they're locally funded by taxes, and they do give two-year associate degrees in a lot of tech things. And then we pair with the University of Madison, which is a Big Ten school. And so that's where our pool of college students comes in. And then we have um, professional people coming and giving the talk. And we have pretty decent overlap there. Um, so any questions? Next up. I get this. OK. You want me to put that on you? Thank you. Now I feel like I'm going to give a TED talk. <laughs> like I should gesture a lot or something like that. Um, good morning, everybody. My name is Robin Savinar. Like Rupa mentioned, I'm a PhD candidate in sociology at UC Davis. And I'm also the principal investigator of a research project about the career paths of uh, high skilled workers in the United States. Um, I'm focusing on occupations and science and technology. And I'm looking at some variables that are usual suspects for sociologists, how outcomes vary across gender, race, immigrant status, and also the type of job somebody has, meaning if you work at a regular full-time job in-house at a firm compared to people who work as consultants or freelancers um, outside of firms. Um, I'm here today to invite everybody to contribute their work experience to an anonymous online survey that I'm, um, that's in, happening right now. I've already collected about 800 responses, but I'm making a special effort to reach out to women because we're underrepresented in science and technology um, to make sure that our perspectives are reflected um, in the data. Uh, the survey is pretty simple. It's, it's a work history and a demographics section. It takes about seven minutes for folks who were born in the US to complete. And if you were born abroad, it takes about 12 minutes because there's an added section about visa history and migration history, which is also an element of career path outcomes that we're interested in exploring. Um, Rupa, in addition to contributing your, your data to the, to the research project, Rupa is also going to be using this as a way to take a mini census of Code Chicks, um, Bay Area, and affiliated um, affiliates around, around the world. So I will be providing um, summary level, aggregate level, um, summary statistics to her about some of the key variables afterwards. So if you're interested in seeing how you compare in an anonymous way, I'll be you know, providing the average age of members, um, highest level of schooling, things like field of study, um, salary, and, and so on. Um, how to get to the survey? Well, I created a special link so I can identify who was referred through Code Chicks. You can, there's a QR code and a bit.ly. Um, URL and I've posted these around outside so when you're on a break today it might be a good time um, to take it uh, and I'll be here for at least one break this morning if you have questions also my contact information is on this sheet so if you have any questions or ideas on how to recruit others men as well because certainly we're not I'm not only looking at women um, please come and speak to me but don't share this with anybody outside of Code Chicks, otherwise it will affect the, the, the census that we're doing for Code Chicks. so thank you <laughs>